welcome back, everybody, to another lit episode of Loquacious. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl, Moody. And I'm smooth. And, and if you remember, Ozzy. if you remember from last season, we had my girl over here, Big Oz. And she is gracing yes. us again with her presence and her opinion. Yes. Thank you for joining us, Ozzy. Welcome, Yes, Ozzy. thank you for allowing me to be crazy with y'all. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We, we love it. We love it here. Um, let's jump into Girl Chat. Girl Chat, what age would you allow your kids to date? And Moody is going to take us away. 21. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, I really would like, I would love for my kids to date at 18. 18. Or once they get out of school, you know, 17, 18. That's when I want my kids to start dating. Um responsibly like chaperone dates okay, okay. jewish jewish mom <laughs> yeah i better be a jewish grandmother than <laughs> so i'm, I'm going to have a baby at 16 i'm going to say i'm going to go and say i'm going to say 16ish because i know usually at sweet 16s like the child be having like a date sometimes so i'm going to say 16 that was kind of like the time I started like trying to have a fake boyfriend too. So I say 16. Mm. What's up, Smooth? <laughs> I'm gonna go with you. So what's funny is I'm on both sides. I say 16 also, but you can put a title on it when you're 18. From 16 to 18, that's just your little friend. And we get it, y'all are exclusive. But we're not putting no title on it till you turn 18. But you can start having a friend at 16. I agree. What up, Izzy? What up? So <laughs> I'm with both of y'all as well. 16 for the little relationship and 18 for the title. Even though, funny thing enough, is my nephew... He came to me around 16 with a little girlfriend. <laughs> and I, you know, my heart was like, oh, oh, what the hell? What? And the problem for me was I started noticing he found her jewelry. I said, wait, hold up. Wait. Not he had his own job. He wasn't getting my money to do it. But you know, I realized that you can't hold them back. The more you hold them, it's the, either gonna, the wilder you know, they are. the pressure to do it behind your back. Or they might wow out, you know. I have oh wait, question, lady. To have sex. Can your can your child tell you that they're dating if they were dating? Absolutely. You have Absolutely. to tell me. I'm gonna lay to down me. the law what what I want for you, but I'm gonna always make the avenue open so that you can be able to tell me if you're doing something that you think I might or might not like or whatever. So if you do come at 16 and tell me, I might be able to have a conversation about the situation but i think at 16 it's a distraction especially when the kids are in school it's a big distraction and i just want my kids to get the better part of life where they can still keep their youth and not worry about adult crap because what relationships become adult stuff and they don't need to be worried about that we old enough to know like it ain't no rush to be with anybody because nine times out of 10, and I know what case is, but nine times out of 10, you're not even going to be with that person that you are in high school with. So don't waste sure. your good years on them. Don't waste it. Word. Tell but me the about truth. the good years. I, I feel that. But um, yeah, with that being said, we're going to jump into our topic. So the question states, mm -hmm. would you put all the bills so that your significant other could pursue their dreams. Asna, what up? Jesus take the wheel and the brakes, <laughs> the <laughs> engine, the whole entire car for this. Because, like, I'm going I'm to touch and go with this. If you, if my significant other has a real dream, not a fantasy, not I'm 38 and I just decided to become the world's greatest rapper alive. No, Negro. Um, we got mortgage, we got food put in this house, we got responsibilities. I'm not footing none of that. Do that on your own time. 
But if he's in a dead end job and you know he didn't get the support he probably needed in his youth, and say, oh, go to school, pursue your engineering, pursue you know your medical degree, whatever. Yeah, if it had to come down to him to stop working so he could finish, yeah, I'll, I'll foot the bill. But no, we're not doing no. I decided to become a virtual gamer, so you know, babe, you're gonna pay for. It. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna pay for my stuff, and you can sleep on the couch in your mama house. So that's, mm. that's the dream. I had a dream, and it wasn't that's, Martin Luther King. That's very interesting, cause me on the other end, um, as y'all know, I'm married. I I think that I'm my only I'm only fitting the bill for my husband to pursue his dream. I'm not fitting no bill for no boyfriend, no nothing, cause you know why? You go in there and help them pursue their dream. And they go curve you right after they became CEO of whatever company. And then they're going to act like they don't they don't even know you. They probably marry somebody else, be with somebody else and do that. I'm not doing that. Let me get it all tied in legally and all. So you're saying that they can 86 you then? They can 86 me. But that best to believe is going to be a prenup the way where I'm going to get some of that bread that I don't put my I bet you that Dwayne's weight on. Um... Dwayne Wade's first wife had a little prenup too, but I guess uh, she didn't get enough. She ain't had the right lawyers because hey, like he Love. 86 tar. You so. gotta make you. I mean, not saying no. This is not about if you could get 86 or not. It's about yeah. you being covered at the end of the day. I'm not you when you not tied to somebody. You ain't you not covered for nothing. So and my eyes, what, that's it my doesn't opinion. matter what the dream is. You're gonna support whatever the dream is. Now, I'm not gonna. Um, if it if it if it don't disgrace me or my family, then yeah, I would. What up, smooth? <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree with Ozzy. I and it don't you don't got to be my husband for me to foot the bill, but it better be a realistic dream. It better be something that's achievable because, yeah, mm-hmm. we're not doing 38, becoming a rapper. Oh, check out my mixtape. Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. I don't got time for that. Um, Yo, Miss, would you like to buy my CD? It's, it's featuring yeah. me. It's yeah, worth it. Don't knock it, though. Don't knock it. <laughs> no, I'm going to definitely knock it, sir, because they don't want you now. Jay-Z is, like, my son was like, this is what y'all listen to. I'm like, nah. this is Jay-Z. So if you becoming a 40-year-old rapper, sir, I'm not supporting that. But if you have realistic no. goals that's going to take us somewhere, I might yep. foot but who 75%. Say but but find something to bring in the house. Say it again, Moody. I'm sorry. I hate you. Who's to say is realistic? But now I want Nelly to answer the, first. My the bad. world. The, okay. Yeah, we, so we know what's realistic am, and what's not realistic. So at yeah, yeah, this don't. current state in my life and age, me and my spouse, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> put bills while you pursue a dream because we're both at an age where our dreams are now probably we too we, yeah we're very mature at this yeah nah no and, it, and, and the younger you wouldn't have did it either <laughs> yeah i don't got i don't have no i'm not doing that because realistically speaking like we don't live in a time where one person could put bills any old way so we need mm-hmm. um this group action and this group effort and so yeah nah everybody go to work Get up, chop, chop. Everybody's going to work. And everybody's, <laughs> we going, yeah, nah, nope. And realistic jobs, realistic dreams is maybe like going to school so you can get a great job. Not making yeah. up something in the crib and saying, oh, this is what, this is my passion right here. I like making um stick figures out of toothpicks. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> hey, no, I know, but look, I've watched literally somebody put somebody through medical school or whatever it was that they, they were going to college, and then as soon as niggas got that degree, they curved them 86 them. I believe had a whole you. family. I believe but that could happen if you marry you. I believe you too, but I also, I'm not doing that. No, nope. I want to, I want to, I want to reiterate, like. It's not because you married to them, but when you have a dream, you're supposed to have a realistic plan. Now, 
I'm not going to sit here and yes, I may foot the bill, but before you get out of that dead end job and have me foot most of the bill, boo, you must have been working a year or two and saving up some money. So we had a backup plan. What if I get sick and we both can't work while you're doing your dream? We have a savings plan. Like it has to be a whole plan with the dream. I'm not gonna let you just pursue yeah, I'm a dream with my husband. Not without my, my, planning. My boyfriend. Well, guess what? You have to plan with your boyfriend to get married before you actually get married. Like, I'm yeah, just but I bet you I ain't paying all the bills. Everything before that. has a. I bet you that. <laughs> what I happened? Bet you I ain't paying all. I ain't fitting all the bills and tuitions and car no, notes. No, no, first of all, I believe um, I don't like the whole husband. The husband don't go for me because they gonna leave you regardless, and they gonna give you what they want and take whether you marry or not. I, I have watched people be married. You better have a good lawyer. And a you bad, got a prenup. Good, uh, you got a prenup right now, Moody. That says yeah, in contract me, right me, now. That if, if so you're me. <laughs> I'm talking about fitting the bill. But, but y'all already married, so the prenup is out the window at this point. So if he decides right now that he wants to become a, a mega movie star and he does just that and you footed the bill, y'all don't have a prenup in place already. So he can still leave yeah, and but say, he, I'm it, not it giving her it, nothing. It, it won't be no no judge going to say, oh, well, she ain't do nothing for you. Probably. They are going to say that, though. No, they're going to say they're going to do that. Definitely going to say that. That ain't going to happen. That's you'll what you'll get, get spousal support. support. You'll, you'll get, get spousal support. support. I'll get child support. And then, good, baby. And then they're going to give you spousal support based on the life you lived previously to him nah, becoming who he is. We're yes. going to get it and then did it. Like, no. you going to... Yes, girl. But, okay, afterwards. so wait. I want to just say... <laughs> I just want to say this little nitpick right here. So for me, whether I'm married or not, if I wholeheartedly want to support something that somebody's doing... I can't actually foresee if your business is going to be something kind of like I said, stick mm -hmm. figures with the toothpicks is not going to go far. But if you open up a cleaning business and I see that 10 people a week call you, I kind of know that we're going to prosper. So if you're my guy and this is what you do, I may help you. But this, Hell but, yeah. but we, other, other, we said fit the bill for everything. No, help I will. Totally I, I mean, if I could, I can't even put the bill. Alone, I'm gonna keep it tall. I can't put no bills by myself. I need the village. <laughs> I need yeah. the village. Right. It takes right. a village to but raise the So now okay. I've been in a situation, and I'm sure Nelly, you know, I footed the bill for somebody. Why? Because they came into my life when I already had everything that. So them coming on was not extra, and I supported them while they stayed with me for a couple of months and went to school to become a truck driver and that person became a truck driver and to this day that person still takes care of me whenever I need something I feel maybe they feel like they owe me because I did support and let you live with me rent free you didn't have to pay no bills but that's just somebody I talked to so it could be I got the best end of the stick with just somebody I told so I ain't have to marry him for him to make it to what he wanted to be to support me so either way a husband a boyfriend like like Nelly said, if I could afford to do it, if I fuck because with you, because when you I'm love somebody, no, but y'all got me messed up. I'm saying <laughs> I wouldn't do it only for my boyfriend, <laughs> my husband. Y'all could do what the hell y'all want to do, but me on the other hand, I don't. I wouldn't do it because there's no security in that for me. Let me just tell you this: I believe investing in people. Period. Right, but you have to look at where you're investing. Whether it's your relationship, your friendships, whatever, you're gonna carry somebody in life. You're gonna have to help carry somebody, and you're gonna get carried. So, with that Absolutely. being said, sometimes you're gonna have to invest with them, invest in them blindly. But if you see potential coming, you see the little sprouts growing, you know there's that's something what I'm trying to feel. Like if and I then, see potential in my girl. boyfriend. If I see the yeah, potential, I'm gonna help my you. I'm gonna help you. I'm not sitting on them. I might will help you like I will help Mike you. can help you if, if but if, guess what um, help the is putting the bill permits. sometimes no help, help is, is putting not the bill I'm not, no, not, not in my eyes. Listen, help is putting nope. the bill sometimes because guess nope. what it's funny nope. and I'm gonna keep it 100% real you would want your husband or your man to foot the bill when it became your chance to pursue your dream nope and to make yourself better you mean nope. to tell me you wouldn't want that support 
No, no you, I want to help, but I'm not going to take away when I can add on. So if I'm in school, say if I was in school and I needed him to help me pay my bills, I'm going to work a part-time job. So at no. least I could have something coming in. That's just me, not you, not her, not nobody else over there. No, no, no. no. But what about, what if it's... Like nobody should be um, fitting the bill for nobody, especially if you don't even know if they're, going, if they're there for you. But some husbands don't, and wives don't fit the bill, period. Like Exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so that's but true. I mean, you, but that's, you're right that's, that you I'm just are, saying that's my you are your own. You are your own person, so you do what you want. Clearly, obviously, but uh, me yeah. talking in retrospect, like husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, is all on you and how you kind of like look at them. Damn. If you see that person has potential, you, you probably might want to help them if you can. But if you feel like the stick figures with the two picks is not going to be a great business for like dolls for girls, then you might want to. Say, you know, yeah, babe, like, yeah, nah, I'm gonna need you to, you know, get a job, do this, do that. I would, Ozzy, want somebody to invest in me. Like, when I started doing Loquacious TV, I, I damn sure wasn't thinking about quitting my job. <laughs> but, but if I had to, like, if I had to quit my job, I would want my significant other, which is my boyfriend, because we're not married, to assist me. I would. I'm just saying that I wouldn't be doing it nobody. Because I can't afford it. That's why. That's Which is good. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I said, you you could do that. You it, you're okay to do that. But I just wouldn't feel comfortable at all fitting the bill for somebody that's not my husband. That's just me. So before your husband was your husband, you never tried to help him do anything? That, nah, I, I helped him do things. That helping the bill, helping and fitting the bill are two different things. So are we talking about fitting the bill or we help? We help. Okay, him? so you, but you and him had already had children, right? Before you got married. Right. And we, so, right. so if he had said, "Oh, like Moody, I want to pursue this dream on my basketball career, whatever," and I need you to hold it down for a few months, would you have done it without being married to him? No. Oh. Okay. Woo, girl. <laughs> he love you. I'm just. I'm he love you. <laughs> I ain't signing on to be by myself or fitting a bill by myself for all those time. Nah. Why would but I do that? Want, like I, no. like I said, I I realized. Like I mean, I I respect your your opinion. I actually respect your stance. However, in a realistic world, sometimes realistic. one mate is. <laughs> No, in a realistic world, sometimes it's one realistic. mate is going to have to is going to have to hold everything. In a real, in a real relationship, one mate may have to flip the bill emotionally for everything. Because what if your man, if you don't help him out financially, now he's got a car, he's got a job that he hates that he's working, he's got a stressful uh, um, pursuit in his college, he's got to do some internships. Do you know how much stress that's putting on your household and your relationship? So now you're going to be footing so a whole lot of work that you didn't think you could. So that you wouldn't be stressed? Nobody said you had to work double hard. Yeah, because said, now if I'm fitting the bill for everybody in my household, that means I got to do the more than what I, my usual. So that means... Well, okay. Right, exactly. If you're married, I right? Do that. I'm pretty sure you know your husband's plans and goals so uh, y'all y'all mostly talk about i think you should always talk about it at least once a year because things change in your life where you go babe i really hate this job and i always wanted to do this or i might want to go here in this department no that, i might want to do that yeah, right i would do that so, for my husband that's what i said yeah, no so i'm saying uh talking like even if you're engaged i i, I believe like i told you i always told you i, I see like past what I see now. I don't like to see You know you, you say that, are. Ozzy. My mate say that too. He like, I always look in the future. Like, I don't I don't look about like right now. I try to like look futuristically. I said, so in your globe, do you see that I'm going to be like big like Wendy Williams? Yeah. He like, nah, not like that. Nah, yeah, we <laughs> like, see it. I see it. Nah. But he be like, you know, he, he kind of like sees for the future. And I kind of get that drift of things. Like, like I said, if I see that you're doing something that can prosper, I am all for the 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 the, the, the um the the ride. But the stick figures is not gonna work. I'm with you. I'm, now, chef, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. Now, if I was dating somebody and they had a dream to pursue, 
I'm going to support you. Support you is like, you know, making donations and, you know, going to the thing, handing out flyers, reposting niggas stuff. I'm going to do that. But at the end of the day, if it comes to, I'm sorry, y'all. If it comes to whether I got to pay for everything and do everything and why you could just pray and, and, and study. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not doing that. Please not God, doing that. Please go yeah, let these nah, stick figures be. Please, you know, let me ramen noodle. Let me be a ramen noodle chef, Lord. Let them. Let them no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. It's, it's just it's gonna be really, really hard because, as I said, a lot of people alone can't foot bills and live comfortably. Right. right. And that's so unfair. Right. Because you gotta put yourself. To just leave to put it yourself. So. So. In a sit- so for me, I put myself in a situation where I could do it by myself regardless. So if you coming into the picture, you're not taking or adding. You're only adding. You're not taking nothing away because I'm going to have to pay my rent. I'm going to have to pay my lights. I'm going to have to pay my water. I'm going to have to pay my Wi-Fi. So if I have an extra body in my house, it's not really changing much. I definitely get what Moody's saying. I respect everything you're saying. Yeah, get your paper, sis. Get your prenup. Make sure your shit is in writing. But for me... You're not taking nothing away from me if I got to foot the bill. Like I said, my ex stayed with me for months so he can continue to go to trucking school because the trucking school was in my state. It wasn't in his state. So I I allowed him to come live with me. But, sir, if you leave, I still got to pay rent. I still got to pay lights. I still got to pay So you mean to tell me the whole time he was living with you, he ain't helped you do nothing? No. That's not crazy, girl. At all. <laughs> but now when he's out of school, every week I get money sent to me. I get yeah, my bills I paid. Mean. I get my, If I call him now and say my phone bill is due, he's going to pay my phone bill. So no, those, and he stayed with me maybe for four months. Not long. Don't get me. No, it wasn't no years down the line. I get it. Yeah. No, and you, we, that's a commendable thing to do. I, to, kudos to you. <laughs> I, I, that's great. Now I'm not telling people don't do it. But at well, the end of the day, you I know, hope that if my nice. guy's watching this um episode right here, I would like to be sponsored. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would like to be sponsored and I would like to quit my job so I could be an at-home talk show host. Yeah, I want to quit mine too. <laughs> so I could be an at-home <laughs> assistant. Assistant to Loquacious TV. I <laughs> want you to know, babe, that I love you. I want to quit my job so I can be full time TV host. And let me put support. him in this. Let me put him in this. This right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would want that. I I would want that. And I mean, it may sound selfish. I'm just poor. I can't really afford to put bills for anyone. But. <laughs> We can do it together collectively. You fit in the bill, Nelly. You fit in the bill. I don't care what you say. Right. And she talking shit because you definitely fit in the bill for your man. The one that's probably in the back of you lurking because you definitely are. So you could cut all that out. Babe, you hear them talk about you? You hear them. Because it's certain. It's certain side of he ain't want to work. You taking care of everything. I would like to say that. And Moody too. <laughs> yeah. her husband. But that nigga put a ring on it a long time ago. So <laughs> oh wait, hold on, bill. sis. Hold up, sis. I'm fitting that bill. Hold on, sis. You trying to say because my man put a ring on it? No, I said you, you put a ring on this do. stop. Stop. I'm doing what I'm gonna do. I'm about to have Why a ring. Why y'all worried about what I'm doing over here? This is my thing. <laughs> well, all I gotta say is that, babe, if you're in the world. And you're watching. Please fit the bills. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please fit the bill. Please. With the ring. Accord- with the ring. With the ring. And I'm taking I proposals. I don't have it. I'm taking want proposals. It. Look, look, sir, look. This fits my finger. So when you want to see the size, <laughs> yeah. you know, take it. <laughs> Like, yeah, you know, no. I but mean. I mean, for the most part, I would support it like on a moral level, like you got my hundred percent support. Like I'm out I'm here, with you, Nelly. I'm posting you. I'm I'm sharing all of that. Stuff. I'm doing all of that. <laughs> but you, you know what? what? I'm gonna tell y'all this, and uh, you know, I'm very opinionated. I'm very who who I am. I'll say this. Um, I am a hundred percent a dream uh, influencer and a, and, and a dream 
investor. But I, what I will not ever, ever, ever invest in is fantasy. Uh, I love dreams. I kill fantasies. So you come to me and you say stupid stuff like, Bay, I want to start a fashion line like Gucci. And you don't even know how to sew. <laughs> forget, forget sewing. You don't even have an artistic mind have a enough to make a logo on your own. We're not doing this. I'm sorry. It's over. My fucking phone died. Oh. Uh, well, um, the another thing I could um actually say is that um, as far as like the dream, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm here. I'm here for it. If you got a dream, Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you. And, and you want me to support you, I will support you every step of the way. Come on, like man. Ozzy said, let it be a dream and not a fantasy. Yeah, because if you, you want to play um video games. Because I ain't passing out CDs. I don't got time. Girl. Right? And I don't want to watch Twitch, which is what they play the video games. On. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh. This is the problem. A lot of women have... Um, invested in fantasies of for these men and then we real people who have real lives and real goals they come and get us and they think oh well my ex did it your ex was stupid and that's why she your ex <laughs> yeah because and you remember the, the movie um acrimony mm -hmm. that was yeah. kind of like a prime example of a woman who helped support her man through everything like her house um her savings her her lawsuit money all that stuff that she got and she like helped him get to where he was at. And although I kind of feel like she the one who 86 him, but she just felt entitled. And sometimes we do feel entitled. Like if yep. we help somebody get on their feet and it doesn't work, we feel like, oh, but I was here to help you get on your feet, but it didn't work. So it's not like, what do you, what, what do you, what do you want now that it didn't work? Right? Have you ever thought that you were supposed to God only place you in that person's life to invest in them? Exactly. So that they could so, feel like somebody. So that they could feel like somebody would support them, would invest and I, in them. And, I, and then that was your blessing my... might not come back from them. Your blessing might come from three people down the line who said, okay, God said you supported him. Now watch me have somebody else do that much more for you. Yeah. Like, and that, so was busy my, that was on my what whole we situation. Back, what, we, what we give people that we don't realize you don't need to, if you're going to give, just give. And if, if when, not if, when your return comes, you ain't gonna even know where it's coming from. It might not be from your mate. They could be successful and they still not invest back in you. It'll be the person that you least expect to come back and invest in you. But it's just like, I think we just, like you said, we, you got an entitlement kind of spirit and mindset where oh, I helped you. I helped you get that bike. So guess what? You better put my name on that bike so when you ride around, everybody know Ozzy bought that bike. No. So what no. you were saying, Smooth? I said that was my situation. So the person I was dealing with, they were doing what they went to school for, but they wasn't getting paid what they should have because they mm -hmm. didn't have the CDL. But you're doing the same same exact thing, but you can't get paid like you're supposed to because you don't have that, that certification on your license. So that's why I offered for the person to come stay with me while they got their CDL and successfully they completed their course they got their cd on like i said we ain't married there ain't no paper saying that he legally has to give me anything to this day but if i pick up that phone and say i need something paid it's going to get paid from that person that i supported maybe he feels like i'm entitled because i was that person that actually pushed him to his dreams because that was his dream to become a truck driver and by all means you get good money doing it so why not me say, all right, I like I said, at the end of the day, I got to pay my bills regardless. So if you were extra body in my house, but I guarantee you every day I came home, my house was clean, kids' See? homework was done, dinner was cooked. So that was, which I guess that was my payment. Which is a good equivalent to staying there and not being able to put your bills. Because a lot of times, even back in the day, you would stay in somebody's house for room and board. And if you couldn't afford rent, you would do other things such as clean, such as cook, such as yep. babysit. So Repair. I mean, and, yep. If he was yep. able to do those things, that's the least he could have did, but that was a lot that he did. Mm -hmm. because people that's don't the even most that. when you go outside and work, outside your home right. as a woman. When you come home and you got dinner on the table and the kids are good, that is 
the most because you're as a woman you outside and it's stressful but, already but you men don't get it twisted men that are watching do not get it twisted this is don't not get it twisted. Me becoming at home mom or dad or whatever yeah. you, you are not a home dad go <laughs> This Your is not for you to say, oh, I'm going to just stay home and cook her some food. No, the hell you ain't. I got to get up, Negro. You're getting up. Exactly. Like I said, support him. Have a plan. Make it a timeline. I think That's it's about the plan. plan. It's about it's the plan. Like, like Ozzy said, the time limit. The time limit. This, yeah, setting a goal, a realistic goal. And if, yep. the, plan, and if the dream is not a fantasy... Those those couple of things, a realistic goal, the dream not being a fantasy, and a time limit, you good to go. Hey. <laughs> yes. But guys, thank you so much. It is Friday, and I'm wishing everyone a great weekend. This has been yes. another super duper lit episode of Loquacious. Moody's phone died. I'm sure you guys probably heard that. <laughs> so they call me Nelly, and they call her Moody. And I'm smooth. <laughs> and I'm Ozzy. And we thank you.